Hi guys, and on this part we are going to learn how to publish an application to a GitHub repository. You can learn how to create a simple application from the previous part, and I will provide the link for you on the description section. So first of all, we need to go to the github.com and there we need to create an empty repository. And in case you don't have an account, you need to sign up first and then you can sign in. I have an account, so I'm going to just sign in. And then here press the button, you will get four options. We are going to select the first one, new repository. And you need to provide the repository name. I'm going to name this one Angular with Material. And here you can provide a short description as well, which is optional. So let's write Angular 4.3 application with Material Design. Next, just create the repository. So we have created the empty repository on GitHub. What we need to do next is that we need to configure this empty GitHub repository with our local environment. So for that, go to the project folder and inside the project folder, open the command prompt. Before we continue further, we need to remove every Git related file that's in this folder. So for that, we write remove directory git sq. After we have done this, let us initiate a new git repository on our local environment. So for that, we write git init and we add everything by writing git add dot. The next step is that we need to commit these files. So for that, we write git commit m initial commit or you can write my first commit. So we have created our GitHub repository, which is empty for the moment. And then we created our local Git repository. Next, we need to configure these two with each other. To do that, we write git remote add origin. And here you need to write the URL that you get when you create the repository. So it's this GitHub, Etrupia Angular with material.git. Copy this value and paste it here. So the configuration has been done. And the last step is that you need to push all these changes to your GitHub repository. For that, you write git push u origin master. So if you are not already logged in, you are going to be prompt with a GitHub login form. Enter your credentials. And after you enter your credentials, you are going to see that all the changes were committed. Now let's go back to our GitHub repository and refresh our browser. And here you will see all the files. So this is all for this part. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you do by pressing the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thank you one more time and see you on the next part.